So here's the other story. We were talking about the top of the draft. We talked about the odds saying C.J. Stroud would be number one over, or C.J. Stroud not be number one overall anymore. It would be Bryce Young. That's shifted dramatically. Feels like that's where that's going. Also, some other odds about where C.J. Stroud could go because you've got some other guys that are now favored ahead of him at number two. Well, Nick Casario, who's the general manager of the Houston Texans, there were some reports, some rumblings that Nick Casario would be out after the draft. So he spoke with the media yesterday and felt a little bit agitated over just the rumors that he would be gone. Here was the current Texans GM. Quite frank, I'm almost embarrassed that I have to say anything. Um, I'm honest, I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio and the Wolf of Wall Street, but uh, I'm not leaving. Um, there's never really been any substantive discussions of the sort. Certainly, it's been a joy to work with D'Amico um, in concert as we build uh, the team and continue to build the staff. Um, you know, unfortunately, I think this time of year, there's a lot of information um, and a lot of topics that are discussed. Um, some are more accurate than others, and I think it uh, transcends multiple landscapes. But it can't, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm almost embarrassed that I have to say anything, but I feel like I have an obligation to, <laughs> to make that statement. So that's huh. pretty... have, you, have you looked at your record? <laughs> so, what's your resume in Houston? What is it, like seven twenty six or something? <laughs> Let, where does the, I, I, embarrassing come in? What what's the ranking of this? I, I think he's seven twenty six and one. Uh, well, I mean, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> is, your, is your record embarrassing? He he did inherit a bag of crap though. Okay. Deshaun Watson and that whole situation that he walked into, he kind of had to figure it out. Uh, and basically decide, can they keep him? Are we trading him? And then they had to unload him and, and try and start all over again. Um, I mean, wasn't he a part of the the whole one-two deal with, with Lovey and, and uh, the other coach? That is correct. I mean, you're on your third. He's on his third coach in yeah. how many years? Three. Two? Three years. Entering three. year three. Entering year three, three, three coaches. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and it's, embar- it's embarrassing <laughs> to think that he has to address the fact that whether he's going to have a job or not. I mean, okay, I mean, because in most other businesses, last I checked, in in normal civilian life, the world, and I know military doesn't like when I say the normal civilian life, but in civilian life, if you have the type of of resume that that Casario has in Houston, you you don't have a job anymore. Uh, if you're a high-ranking official, and that is is what you're putting out there as a product, over how many years? How many years? Four. Uh, going into year three. Three. You're going into year three with. You can't sit. I mean, you guys tell me. Can you say he's taking this? Uh, maybe now, today, you could say that. But before today, can you say that he was definitively with the decisions he was making? taking this organization in the right direction can we look at that and see a correlation of here are the decisions that that the gm has made that seemingly is taking this team in the right direction outside of the hiring of D'Amico ryan's no but i think that he was just trying to figure out a solution when it came to deshaun watson and yeah. then go from there okay. he, he kind of jumped in at a pretty inopportune time right like <laughs> I mean, I, you had, uh, you know, a quarterback that was accused or allegedly doing something we had never seen before, and uh, that was supposed to be your franchise guy. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's – he did a great job during his time in New England. Ultimately, Bill Belichick receives credit for all of that since he's got the final say there. But it's, it's one of the reasons why he made his way to Houston is he, he wanted to be the guy, and uh, it, it came under difficult circumstances. And, and now because of what's transpired with the new head coach who has more power, it may not end up working out that way. So it, it's, again, a, a tough spot to be in for him. But uh, I do like the fact that he makes Jordan Belfort kind of reference uh, because that's something that I think people relate to and fans will kind of love because that's it's one of the scenes that you recall from Wolf of Wall Street. Like, yeah, that's my guy. That's my leader. You know, that's the guy I want in there. you got to drag him out of here. Um but in reality, I, I think the, you know, if there's one foot out the door, I would not be surprised by that. Because the other thing is, too, like, I think every time, you, you, whether you're a head coach or you're a front office executive, 
you take a job and you get there and you might hear some concerns of how bad things are. And then you get there and you go, oh, no, this is not what I thought. Or this <laughs> is worse. worse. Right. Mm. Like I, I always would wonder about Ron Rivera taking the Washington commandos job. And <laughs> you heard him say it's like a level of relief now. Relief. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, like who uses that word? <laughs> relief as a head I would, coach? I would love to hear, you know, just a raw story of, yeah, it was way worse than what I thought it was. Mm. Mm. Everyone finds it out. And and also, I would think part of the appeal or maybe the only appeal for Nick Casario to want to take the Texans job is because he thought, well, at least we've got a franchise quarterback who's under contract long term because Deshaun Watson had just signed that extension. Yeah. And then he gets there. It's like, oh, by the way, he's got a fetish and he goes to massage parlors and there's going to be like a, a hundred different accusations against him over the next several months. Okay, that's fun. Sure glad I left New England and some stability to come over here. So I'm just wondering, where did these these stories start that he was going to be gone after the draft? Because I, I think Albert Breer had hinted at that as well, too. It's not like people are just making this up out of thin air. So where did this stuff come from? Like, there was even a you name. Think someone within the organization leaked it out? Well, it's just like there was already a replacement. It was the, the, the 49ers assistant GM who was already it looked at as being the guy who was going to take over. Like, and why wouldn't he? I mean, honestly, why wouldn't if, if if I'm D'Amico Ryan's, why wouldn't you hire somebody that you know there would never be any type of confusion or any type of bucking within the ranks? Why wouldn't you do that? You know, if if I'm the guy that okay, I didn't hire you, but I'm a I'm a carryover to this regime, and we've had little success while I've been here, even though you may have a great resume and 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 a a great background. I'm still looking at it like I didn't hire you. And if I have the ability, if I have the autonomy to actually be able to dictate who I'm hiring at key positions, that's why ADs lose their jobs when coaches go to these schools and stuff like that. Like they lose their jobs because you don't want anyone or anything that could undermine what it is that you're going to bring to the table. If you're going to go down, you go down swinging with the people that you've brought in. Like, if I'm going into a foxhole, I don't want to be in a foxhole with somebody I don't know. I'm not putting my, I'm not going back to back with somebody I don't know. I may turn around, you might be facing me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. So why, why would if I'm D'Amico Ryan, why would why wouldn't I be thinking about bringing in somebody who helped me build a one of the most elite defenses in in the league? Why wouldn't I do that? I mean, if Nick Casario is let go after the draft, <laughs> like gangster, especially after an interview <laughs> right? like this, <laughs> right? Straight like, gangster. Like who, who doubled down and told him, "Oh, don't worry about it. Your job's safe." And this then is embarrassing. The, the morning uh, after no. the draft, he's you gone. get your ass fired the, the day after the draft <laughs> after saying it's embarrassing. <laughs> like, to even address it is embarrassing. That's why I don't like. Who's gonna make up these rumors? Like nobody's gonna just make this up out of thin air. Like it, it had to come from somebody within the organization. Oh. And no one's come to his defense. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no one's, no one's stepped yeah, in Yeah, Nick said, is right. <laughs> yeah. He's not leaving here. He's our guy. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you out here all by yourself here in crickets, yeah. Nick. Like, you, you, better put, you better start putting them, <laughs> putting them clothes in the bag. Yeah. Better start D'Amico popping the boxes just like, out. Just backing away from the situation. Mm. Like Bob McDare's over in the corner, like sipping his coffee, giving him a look like, like yeah, you, buddy. All right. Can you believe <laughs> what he said? As soon as this radio show is over, he's out of here. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you can tell Nick Casario's never worked in radio because you don't get to say goodbye. It's yeah. just like they call you in afterwards say, yeah, that'll do it. That was it for you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. How'd you like your last show? What do you mean? Yeah, that, that, that'll turn go ahead and do it. Card. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so you're not, definitely not going to see it coming. Uh, but we will keep you posted as to how long Nick Casario well, is on the job there. He's been successful, though, you know? If, yeah. he's, if he's oblivious to what's coming down the pipe or possibly, <laughs> but, you know, he's been successful. So good for him. 726-1, and one, I believe, is his record after a couple of years.